There was no hint of problems as 2,100 spectators watched the first half of an entertaining cup tie at Kilbawi. Clyde Bank looked in the mood early on. John Crawford shot, though no trouble for Paul Mathers, with John Henry ready to pounce. But a somewhat lethargic Dundee side were punished both for their lack of hunger and the banky speed on the break when the Crawford-Henry combination worked once more. But this time the young midfielder with the time, the space and the cool head to slot it around Mathers in the 31st minute. Dundee shaken out of their lethargy, Noel Blake's header two minutes later was cleared off the line by defender Graham Ferguson. But when Ferguson was sent off early in the second half, the seats were sown for a frantic finale to this cup tie. Ferguson's second bookable offence and Clyde Bank reduced to ten men. He took the early bath, but another three players were booked within three minutes after this incident. Dundee piled forward. Vickhorst sending the long ball for McCann to chase, and when his cross came in, Morton Vickhorst, who'd raced forward, unleashed a powerful shot. It was goal-bound, but for the fingertips of Clyde Bank keeper Alan Monaghan and the underside of the bar. But with just six minutes remaining, the Dens Park team finally made the breakthrough. Ten-man Clyde Bank stretched to the limit, Morton Vickhorst attempting to go forward, but the ricochet fell for young Paul Tosh. A superb finish from the young midfielder, but the resultant wave of jubilation and relief from the travelling fans spilled over onto the pitch from both the covered enclosure and from behind the Clyde Bank goal. Initially, it appeared innocuous, but within seconds, a scuffle broke out in the goalmouth area as Dundee fans began to attack Banky's keeper, Alan Monaghan. He wrestled one of them to the ground before players, officials and police eventually intervened. Monaghan was clearly dazed by events. He was eventually led off the field as his teammates made their way back to the dressing room. Highlighting the initial moments of the incident just after that Paul Tosh goal reveals that keeper Monaghan, standing at the right-hand post, was confronted by three Dundee fans before eventually wrestling one of them to the ground. These scenes are amongst the most dramatic at a senior Scottish football ground in years. At this stage, there were still six minutes left of play in the tie, but clearly there was a question mark as to whether the game would continue at all. Amidst confusing scenes, five minutes passed as referee Alistair Hewitt consulted with police, then with two of the Clyde Bank directors and Dens boss Jim Duffy. As several arrests were made, Mr Hewitt decided to play on. But after the final whistle, Dundee Vice Chairman Malcolm Reid promised to help identify and then to ban any of the Dundee supporters involved in the incidents which sadly upstaged this time. The club's official line, Hazel, is obviously we deplore any uh, behaviour. As it went on, I felt it was a marvellous cup tie. Uh, right up until then, but uh, I don't really want to comment at this moment on that. Do you feel that Clyde Bank will take the matter further? Uh, that is probably a question for Jack Steedman. That will be left to them, and, and obviously the cameras were there and watched it today, so the league can have a wee look at it tonight on the television, and it will be up to them to decide what 